most fish reproduce externally. The females release their eggs into the water and the males immediately fertilize them with their sperm. In this scene with bumphead parrotfish you can see it quite clearly. But with sharks and rays it is a different story. In their case, fertilization is always internal, through the process of copulation. This is not easy, as they would sink slowly when they stop swimming. In this scene we see two manta rays in a so-called mating dance. The smaller male is at the back of the female. But this is only the foreplay. She is not ready yet and shows some resistance. He tries to bite her left wing tip. It is actually always the left wing the male tries to bite. After he succeeds, she seems to give in and signals to be ready. She falls into a kind of trance, a so-called tonic immobilization. Now as he has a grip on her, he can pull his body around to get into the position to insert his clasper into her cloaca. Unlike most other animals, manta rays copulate in a belly-to-belly -belly position. Copulation always puts all animals into a vulnerable situation, in which they easily could become prey for bigger predators. Copulation in most cases has to be quick. So the offspring does not become prey before they actually become offspring. After a gestation period of about 12 months, the female manta ray gives birth to a single pup which measures roughly 1.5 meters across from wingtip to wingtip. You became witnesses of a rarely observed moment in natural history. This is actually a unique film document of copulating manta rays in the wild. Thanks for watching. If you like this short documentary, feel free to share and subscribe.